he's mine now. What's up everyone, my name is Volkus, and today the Pixel Art Project world is finally back with lots to show. So, if you remember in the last few episodes, if you haven't seen them by the way, I will link them in the description below so you can go check them out. First two episodes focused on my mushroom builds. Uh, so this world is pretty much dedicated to me making pixel arts, and first of all, I am focusing on the Mario games, because I'm a massive Mario fan. So I made a ton of mushrooms. Uh, there's actually one new one, which I want to show you now. Um, but yeah, for all the rest of these weird and wonderful mushrooms that I've built, go and check out parts one and two of my series. So this mushroom right here is the big mushroom uh, from Mario Maker. So yeah. Um, uh, yeah, all the mushrooms are from parts one and two. And then in part three, I started work on my fire flowers. Uh, and yeah, there was there was like a row, like half a row of fire flowers in part three, which I'd done. So if you want to keep up to date with uh, the fire flowers, it's a long rambly video, but basically only half of one row had existed, but now there are a ton of new flowers to show you, and I mean quite a freaking lot. Uh, I don't actually know if I've uh, had a bigger episode than this apart from the very first episode. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a cool video, and due to the size of it, I am going to try and keep it as short as possible. So let's get the first row of five flowers out of the way. I know there's a lot of interesting flowers back there for you to look at. We will get to those. So, first of all, starting off from where I believe we left off last time, um, here we go. So the first new flower that not, hasn't been in my videos before, we have got the flower from New Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay, so this is the one from New Super Mario Bros. 2, and I really like this one because of the way that the sprite is positioned. Uh, I just think it looks pretty uh, pretty good. And this one is another design I really like as well. And this is the one from, I believe, Partners in Time. Uh, no, it's from Mario and Luigi Dream Team. So yeah, that's what that one is from. Uh, very nice design right there. Uh, I really like the simple yet nice use of colors. Then this one right here is the Mario Maker 1 and 2 version of the Super Mario Bros. 3 flower, which is all the way back there. It's basically just a recolor of the same sprite, uh, but it looks pretty nice. And yeah, those are all the new fire flowers. Uh, there weren't too many more that I actually wanted to build that were different enough for me to justify building it. Most of the ones I haven't built just look like this, but with very minor differences. Uh, the fire flower hasn't had it's such a massive amount of variance as the mushroom has uh, over the years, but what we have here are non-fire flowers, and I think they're pretty good. Uh, they, most of them came out pretty nicely, so you'll probably know the most famous flower, I think, that's not the fire flower. This is the ice flower from, I think this is Partners in Time, although I'm not sure, and this is the oldest fire flower sprite that I could find. Uh, it's not anywhere near as old. Yeah, this is Partners in Time. It's not anywhere near as old as the fire flower is. It's a much newer power-up. Uh, then we do have another ice flower up there, but first of all, we've got the boomerang flower. And I'm just going to reposition the camera slightly because of the way it's positioned right now is making it a bit difficult. Okay, so we are back with a much better camera angle, so I can actually control a lot easier now. So this is the boomerang flower from Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, okay, and then these two right here I didn't know existed until I was making uh, these pixel arts. These are the slow and... Uh, fast, slow, and speed flowers from Super Paper Mario. Uh, so these slow down and speed up time respectively. Pretty cool flowers. Uh, this right here, this one was quite hard to find a good sprite of, but I managed to find one uh, and made some slight modifications. This is the cloud flower. So, um, sorry about that, I had a bit of a <laughs> camera malfunction, but this one's from Mario Galaxy 2 of course. Uh, and then we have this one right here is one of my larger flowers. This is the golden flower from New Super Mario Bros. 2. 
Um, uh, then this one here is from Mario Land, the original. This is the famous Super Bowl flower. And this is a double-sided one because this is a flashing power-up. It flashes to this color. So, yeah. And right here, this is another weird one I didn't know existed. This is called the Copy Flower, and it's from Partners in Time. So yeah, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice section of other flowers here. The final flower uh, to show you, this is the last flower I've currently built, is the Ice Flower from, uh, I think this is just from New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, it is. So this is basically just a reskin of the Fire Flower with the ice colors, but that is basically what it looks like in uh, New Super Mario Bros. anyway. So yeah, pretty, pretty pleased with most of these flowers, and we're now going to move on to different power-ups. So here we have the colorful assortment of non-flower power-ups. So, first of all, right here, we've got these. So these are 1-up and 3-up hearts from Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2. And then there's one from, Mario, uh, from Wario Land. So this is the original 1-up heart from Super Mario Land 1. This is the... Um, one up heart from Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, and then this is the three up heart from that game, which if you can't tell what that does, it's just three of those basically. And then this here is also a three up heart, and this one is from Mario Land, which is Super Mario Land 3. And this is another double sided one because it will flash from this sprite uh, to this sprite. So it's basically just flashes. F um, every half second or so from that to this, so I made it double sided to show both colours. And then finally we have a one up part here from um, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Advance. And this is actually a three up moon uh, from Super Mario World. Not to be confused with a power moon from Mario Odyssey, much older and uh, serves a different purpose. So then this row is basically the miscellaneous power-ups that I have built here. Uh, so this is the plus clock from Super Mario Bros. Special, the Japanese exclusive game. And this essentially is a... Um, it gives Mario more time in timed challenges. And this clock came back in a very different way in the modern games, but it looks nothing like the old one. Uh, now these, I'm really pleased with how these came out. These are the Yoshi Fruits from various games. First of all, we have my fav personal favourite Yoshi Fruits ever. These are the ones from Super Mario Galaxy 2. So first of all, we've got the Bulb Berry, which essentially turned Yoshi into a walking torch. We have the Dash Pepper from Galaxy 2, which essentially turned Yoshi into a very infuriating to control, super fast running little dinosaur. Then we have the Blimp Berry, which essentially, if you remember that uh, frickin' balloon level from Mario World, uh, it's essentially that, but for Yoshi, but not as annoying to control. Then this right here is a regular Red Berry from the Galaxy 2 game. Uh, and then we have the Super Mario World Berries, the oldest berries in Mario, because this was the game Yoshi was introduced in. We have the red berry, which was a, um, I can't remember the effects of all these berries. The red berry was essentially like a mushroom, but for Yoshi, or a fire flower, depending on the color of your Yoshi. The pink berry spawned like a Lakitu cloud that spawned coins and stuff, so it was kind of weird, but cool. And then this green berry, I remember, is really rare, and I can't actually remember what it does, but it's, it's rare in the game. So yeah, those are the Mario World berries. Now these two, this one might actually be my biggest pixel art, I'm not sure if I've actually ever made one bigger than this. And even though it's really simple, it took a lot of work to do because I had to work out the dimensions and stuff, which was really difficult from the picture I had. But yeah, this is right here, um, it's just referred to as a nut from Yoshi Safari. And this was quite a challenging build, but this one right here, uh, I finished really recently and it's definitely a pain, but I think it was worth it. It came out looking pretty pretty damn good, and as you can see it's uh, very large, it's like if I just fly, there we go, see here this is a very large build, and yeah, this is from a game that I'd never heard of called Mario Family, it's one of those weird Japanese exclusive Mario games that never took off, 
uh, anywhere else. 2001 it came out. And it is simply the Red Berry. Um, but yeah, these are my new builds. Uh, and obviously there's probably not as many as I thought there were to be honest, but quite a lot of new builds. The next series of builds I'm going to be making in the world, I think, are probably going to be uh, either the next row of miscellaneous builds for like the different power-ups that there aren't enough of for me to make an entire row dedicated to them, but I may also make, if there aren't any miscellaneous power-ups left to do, I may also move on to the Superstar, which I've been looking forward to making because I really like the Superstar sprites. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my new power-ups and this video in general. If you did, make sure to go to the description below and check out the links to my first three episodes in case you missed any of those. Get completely caught up on all the flowers, mushrooms, etc. you may have missed and might want to know more about. And yeah, if in general uh, you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel as we are nearing 100 subscribers and I would really like to hit that milestone soon and give this video a like for letting me know that you want more content of course any builds you'd like to suggest or recommend um, put them in the comments below I will say now that I'm going to move on to after I've done some Mario builds I'm going to move on to Terraria builds and probably some builds from the Minecraft Ether mod because I love that mod so much. But yeah, anything you want to recommend that I should make a pixel art of, do let me know in the comments, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks once again for watching, and new videos will be coming very soon. Focus out.